In this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to use Padlet as a student. If your teacher has decided to use Padlet, you most likely have received a link to join Padlet. Your teacher might have sent a link through an email or posted link on a Google Classroom, like in this example. To access Padlet as a student, all you need to do is click on the link that your teacher has provided you with. A link will take you to a Padlet platform. And this is what a Padlet looks like. It's a wall with several posts and questions that your teacher wants you to answer and engage with. A post normally consists of a title, description, and sometimes a teacher may decide to post some, some complimentary media. In this case, there are two posts that include video clips and your teacher instructs you to first watch the clip and then comment on it. To comment on the post, read the instructions carefully and once you're ready to respond, click on the speech bubble in the bottom right corner. Type up your comment and click on the arrow sign. Once you've posted your comment, it will be viewable by your classmates and your teacher. Your teacher has also asked you to reply to one of your classmates. This post has one reply from one of my classmates, ms 4 ipad 4 as another dummy account I'm using for the purpose of this demonstration. To reply to one of my classmates, simply mention your classmate. Now we have one response to one of our classmates. This is how you comment on post and reply to your classmates post. If one of your assignments is to create post, click on this plus or pencil button and start creating your own post. First thing you want to do is create a title for your post. The second field is the body of your post. You can upload files from your computer, which will be embedded in your post, much like your teacher has embedded video clips in their post. You can also link a resource from the internet, use Google search to find videos or images. If your computer has a webcam, you can also use it to embed media into your post or you can use other features to create media for your post. Once your post is finalized and published, it is now visible to your classmates and your teacher, and they can also comment on your post. If your teacher enables a feature of rating, you can also rate each post. To rate a post, click on rating and then assign a corresponding rating. So let's sum up what we've learned today. First, we've looked at how to join Padlet by following the link that your teacher has provided you with. We've looked at how to comment on posts and how to reply to your classmates. Finally, we've looked at how to create your own posts if your teacher asks you to do so. Thank you for your time. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.